Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. Today, what I'm going to be doing is some bird photography with my Nikon D850 and 80 to 400 mm lens. And I'm at one of my favorite bird photography locations. This is Beechmere in Queensland, Australia. Now, before I start the video, I just want to say a special thank you to all those that contacted me and made sure that I was okay during these horrendous floods here in Brisbane, Australia. I don't know if you saw that on the news around the world, but yes, I am okay, safe. I did the right thing, listened to the authorities, stayed inside. Today is another day though. It's now gone, the floodwaters are receding. It is a beautiful day, so I'm gonna get out there and go and have some fun with the D850 and see what we can get. Such a dramatic contrast from the last couple of days. I've never seen it in my lifetime living around this area, the rain that came down. It was just torrential for days on end and it just kept on going. Good to see the good weather again. <laughs> just got some rainbow lorikeets up in these trees, having a bit of breakfast. I'm just using single point autofocus here, straight on top of this guy's head as he's having a feed. This is better because I've got light behind me as well. I love these birds because they're so colourful. They make it, certainly make a racket in the mornings to wake people up, but uh, they really are beautiful. I'm just going to try and get some B-roll. For those of you who haven't seen it on my channel yet, I've already made a video on how I like to set up the focus settings on the D850 for birds and wildlife. What I'll do is I'll just leave that link up here for you and you can have a look at it a little bit later on. So I've got two Australian sacred kingfishers now up here. As soon as I get a nice clear shot through some of these branches, I get single point autofocus and put it right on top of their head shooting at a relatively low shutter speed, around about 1600, because they're not doing any sort of drastic movements and shooting at about F7.1. I was just saying in my last video how much I love this D850 because, you know, it's things like this where I take a shot of this Kingfisher I'm able to crop in with this 45 megapixel sensor and it just really lets me check to make sure I've got focus and you can see it's bang smack on top of that kingfisher's head. So at the moment we're just approaching high tide and what's happening is because of all the runoff from the floodwaters coming out to sea, we're experiencing these really high tides. When I got here this morning, I was going, oh, I think I've messed up my tide times. It must be high tide, but it's actually just coming into high tide. This bridge, normally even at high tide, you can still walk over that no problem and get along the front there. So I can't move down to where I know some of the bigger birds of prey are down here. That bridge is completely cut off now. And we're not even at high tide. High tide is in another two hours. So. I dread to think how high this water is going to get. In fact, what I might do is move to another location because I can see the water actually is now lapping up towards the top of this car park. <laughs> so I might move for a little bit of safety. this um, black cormorant sitting on one of these post tops here. I'm going to just try and sneak in and grab a shot. I'm at one of my favourite spots where I normally photograph the Ospreys and there was this purpose-built nest platform for them. 
Unfortunately, due to the storms and the floods, their nest has been absolutely decimated, destroyed. So they're gone. But fingers crossed, they move to a nice spot um, to safety. This is normally their hangout where they get a lot of the fish out of this high tide. Normally one sits there on the tree, the other one's sitting up in its nest. But as you can see from the nest, it's completely destroyed. So sad day, but yeah, hopefully um, they'll be back and they can rebuild it and be able to photograph them again. Due to the rain and floods being so severe, I could tell the birds in my area were absolutely starving. Fairy wrens, noisy minor birds, brown honey eaters had all flocked to my purpose-built garden for feeding birds and were having a feast. In the evening, flying foxes were flying low enough to my house for me to photograph them. Check out this shot in its raw form straight out of the D850. This is what I was saying about the amazing dynamic range this camera has. When post-processed, you can see the skeletal structure through the wings. So I'm just in this area where the ospreys normally hang out and I saw an Australian kookaburra fly up to one of these branches before. So it's just sitting there. I'm just gonna try and get a little bit closer and grab a shot. Just got a stick in his way there. Well guys, it's come to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I had a bit of fun today with the Nikon D850 doing some bird photography. As I always say, never stop creating and I'll see you next time.